Hello everybody, today it is Tuesday the 18th or 19th, oh god I don't actually know, I'm going to say the 18th of February. Today I have a really fun day, I'm off to Vista Village with Lauren, she's just grabbing the car. So I'm going to make this quick, I thought I'd show you my outfit before we go because... I need to get back into the swing of things, you know? I haven't vlogged in ages. So yeah, I'm gonna do that for you also. Look, how cute. Makes me really happy. Anyway, let's get on with my outfit. So, I'm wearing this jacket blazer thingy from Pretty Little Thing. I've had this for ages and I dig it out every so often. I find it a bit of a hard one to style, weirdly, so I don't get the most wear out of it, but I was really like trying to just use some older pieces in my wardrobe for today's outfit, because I just was like, God, these don't get worn enough. So I'm wearing that with my Zara baggy leather trousers, YSL trainers, which I haven't worn in ages, and then I have a little top on, which is new, it's knitted, it's from Zara. Yeah, so it's just like a little cropped knit. It's really, really cute, and I love the color of this. It's just like, such a gorgeous like deep sagey colour. I'm really into that colour at the moment. I just ordered loads of stuff of ASOS. Probably will get sent back last night. You know when you do those like midnight shops that you shouldn't be doing? Yeah. And uh, lots of these tones. I'm really, really into that at the moment. So this is about the most colour you're going to see me wearing this spring. I really, really like it. And then I've got my Chanel boy bag. And yeah, my hair is just in a little ponytail. Let's see if I can show you the back. <laughs> that's what it looks like and if you want a tutorial on that there's like a basic tutorial that i just uploaded in my what might be my last video so i'll link that in the info box to do a whole load of hairstyles um for kind of shorter hair but yeah i'm gonna get going now because i don't want to take too long and i'll chat to you more in the car you need to let me in <coughs> hello <laughs> let's go yeah are you excited? I'm really excited. <laughs> Why do you look nervous? Because I do look nervous and I don't think you're going to want to record this. Oh god, okay. Be right back. <laughs> so, I'm taking a slight detour on our route to Vista Village because um, I have woken up, well, I haven't driven my car in a while. It's been parked in my own car park in uh, my building. And I've come, well, Lauren has come out to four parking tickets on my car, which I pay to park and have a permit for, which is clearly displayed. So I'm at the end of my wits with the parking situation in, uh, I'm being very polite about this. Basically, my friends come over, they get ticketed. I pay to live there and I get ticketed despite having a permit, clearly displayed. Just the so, four times, you know? You know, very the four. The four tickets. Also, because I didn't move my own neighbours. I feel like they probably Someone should have told it. me. Oh, my neighbours probably hate me. Um, <laughs> this is... I'm, like, literally on the verge of tears because <laughs> this is an actual joke. And I'm scared that I'm going to do a Rachel in Friends, you know, where she, like, needs to have a go at someone. <laughs> and she just, just cries. <laughs> Close me. <laughs> because this is actually, this is absurd. Like I've had to pay 400 pounds worth of parking tickets for Lauren in the past year. My hand is actually shaking. I don't know if you can see this because the G7X has very good stabilization. <laughs> <laughs> this is not how I wanted this vlog to start. Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm crying. So I'm going around there. I'm, do I'm not even sending an email. They're gonna have to deal with me. I'm crying at them. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't even care. I'm losing my shit. You know, you pay so much money to live yeah. in these places and this is absurd. When I leave this building, I'm going to let you know where it is so that no one ever moves in there <laughs> because it's not worth it. It is not worth it. Everything is broken. The front door doesn't work. <laughs> we have to go through the bin exit to get in some days. That's how tragic this is. Yeah, it is very tragic. We need to move house. I need to leave. ASAP. Honestly, they won't even let me have a key for Lauren, so I just have to walk outside of my slippers every day to let her in. And I, when I say walk outside, I don't mean just go to the front door. I mean, like, into the street. <laughs> People see me in my slippers. And some days Lauren rings the bell and I'm in a bra and I'm just like, what do I do? Oh gosh. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna 
compose myself because I need to go speak to some people and have a very stern word with them. <laughs> so I'll be right back. <laughs> what is that? I've calmed down a little bit. Um, it was very quick and painless actually. I just went in and I was like, hi, I have tickets. I live here. Please sort. And it's all fine. Um, so now we are finally on our way to Vista. We're very excited. Basically, the past couple of weeks, I have not been feeling myself and I've been really, really sad. And Lauren made a very good point on Friday? Thursday. Was it Thursday? Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, because we were both off Friday. Um, so Lauren made a very good point on Friday that um, whilst I have been saving in the run-up to kind of moving, buying a house and all that, um, I've been trying to stack away as much money as I can and just not been, I've been working a lot and basically just been doing zero fun things. And you made a really beautiful point about your inner child and the fact that I wasn't giving her anything. Everyone's been giving her anything because It's all stems from Janice. Yeah. We love you, Janice, Lauren's mum. <laughs> so, Lauren, it was a really beautiful point. She was like, you're not giving your inner child any joy. Like, you're just literally like working, which, you know, we have to do that stuff but I haven't had a day off in a really long time literally I've just been working constantly so we decided to have today off and we're gonna go up to Mr Village and even if we do nothing other than like eat and buy donuts we love a road trip we were talking the other day as well about doing a road trip to Edinburgh and every coffee stop we make along the way having to order a different coffee but you never change your order so how are we meant to do that i would do it though i'd do it literally yeah absolutely but i wouldn't i would like keep it semi normal ish i'd go crazy i, I feel like there's a vlog in this there's like an actual yeah, like we should set up a vlog or a tiktok where it's like trying random shit from starbucks but yeah that is why we're going to mr village there's no work related reason we're just like having more fun um because yeah, the buying a house process has been stressful. Like I almost, Laura watched me almost cry filling out forms the other day. So we're gonna have some fun today. It's gonna be great. Do we go here now or later? I think we should go here now, suss it out. Yeah. And then leave. Yeah. And then leave. Come back again. And then leave. I'm here for Gucci's interiors, this panelling. So for those of you that haven't been to Vista Village, it's basically like this shopping village and everything is kind of like last season stuff, so it's cheaper. And I'm here for that, because I'm gonna spend the money on the stuff. And so far I haven't spent any money, so I'm doing well. You are doing very well. Doing well. Have my eye on a scarf from Dior, but that's about it. And I feel like going into spring is probably not the most sensible purchase, but we'll see. I think there's an All Saints here though, and I would definitely like to have a look in there because I love All Saints all the time. <laughs> Do you just think I was talking to you? <laughs> but I would like to go into All Saints. <laughs> Marlborough used to be my jam here. My actual like favorite store. Not so much now. In it all saints and it is absolutely rammed. Rammed. I really like this jumper. Standard suits, it's all black. Shocking. Ryan, if you're watching, Lauren has picked out your next shirt. <laughs> it is actually like a perfect work shirt for him. That is ideal. <laughs> Just been for lunch here. If you come to Vista, you have to have lunch here. It does the best mac and cheese. Ooh. Shall we? Ooh, yeah, let's go. Oh my god, they're so sparkly. <gasps> I'm dead. Lauren just told me I'd never wear these because I'd be worried. Worried of what? Breaking an ankle or being mugged for them? The bottom getting too dirty. <laughs> I'm obsessed with these. Obsessed. Where would I wear them? I don't know. They're cute though. Really cute. There's actually a Le Bouton opening here soon. It says coming soon. Coming Very excited. Soon. 
look at that. I want the red buttons. I don't want to pay the full price. <laughs> Why is that thing? We don't know, I just like pink things. <laughs> and there just seems to be a lot of pink things out at the moment. Lauren keeps having to put pink things down. Everything. Yeah. Everything pink down. I'm sorry, babe. It's okay. Sorry. It's not your fault. So, I felt very uncomfortable vlogging in Balenciaga because the security guards had their eyes on me like hawks, but their stock was very good. They had leather city bags in like a nude colour with silver hardware. They had like a greyy, dusky, greeny blue colour. And being distracted by Bottega. Do I even bother? No, because I'm not paying that much money for a bag. Oh, why is that though? <laughs> Swiftly turn. <laughs> but yeah, nude city bags and grey ones. Really gorgeous and denim jackets. Hard life in it, babe. It is. <laughs> so this is my look for this morning. Snazzy, covered in fake tan. Britney mug. Got this from Urban Outfitters. If anyone's wondering, it's about 100 years old, and the camera's not focusing on it. Apparently, there we go. Britney mug. Really disgusting old dressing gown. Sadly, I feel like this used to be a really nice dressing gown, and it's not so much anymore. Do you ever just have those days where you got up and your skin just is not? agreeing with the world like it's just lumpy and puffy and not cute freshly washed hair not doing the most so yeah that's the day i'm having today and uh, i feel like my life is kind of representative of this morning's coffee montage in which it was just a mess my life is just a mess right now it just feels like it's falling apart so i'm gonna do the productive thing of sitting on my sofa and drinking a coffee instead of sorting anything. really shake just by leaning on it but we're gonna roll with this so it is wednesday i have not vlogged yet today today has been a continued stress of yesterday i feel like the whole wow my camera's just like turning on its own that's so weird oh my god stop doing that you're freaking me out <laughs> i feel like being in the phase of running a business and buying your house at the same time is just a continued cycle of micromanaging and chasing people and fun fact because you probably won't know this because you have no reason to because who needs this tidbit of information about me i'm not a micromanager in any way shape or form i'm really bad at it i like to have people in my team who really use their own initiative because i'm really bad at micromanaging also they're the best people to have working for you but also because i just don't i don't enjoy micromanaging people i don't feel like it's a productive use of my time i just think everyone should do their job and get on with it which is i know a very idealistic point of view but in theory i feel like everyone involved in the house buying cycle should just you know be doing the stuff and everyone doing their job should just be doing the stuff and this is not issues with my team because my team are amazing i hire good people on the business side of things like lauren and gleam are amazing but just like outside of my immediate team there's just a lot of micromanaging going on and a lot of stress and a lot of personal stress and today and actually many other days i just tend to cry because when I get angry I cry I'm Rachel from Friends I just cry at people if I'm angry at them unless they really piss me off and then I like breathe fire so yeah 
it's been a couple of days and I'm now in London. I've checked into the Me Hotel. This isn't like a press stay or anything. But yeah, so I've checked in to the Me Hotel. Ryan is up here all week for work. He's got like studio sessions all week. So my phone's flashing at me. Meh. So he's going to come and stay with me rather than sleeping on his friend's floor for another night, which I'm sure he'll appreciate. And then I have an important meeting at Gleam tomorrow and I really need to prep for that now actually. Just finished getting some house related bits wrapped up oh wow i just can't stop making this shake i need to just stop talking with my hands and put them on my lap yeah so i've got some good things ticked off my to-do list so far today hopefully it's all coming up susie from here on out the parking ticket issue from being ticketed in my own parking space at my own building is an ongoing saga which i'm hoping will wrap itself up soon but that that's a bit a big part of my stress today where i live the parking tickets aren't even like normal council parking tickets they're like 100 pounds per parking ticket and i have multiple of them so let's just like put this into context this is a lot of money and a lot of my stress is actually just like ongoing on the parking tickets and i'm just honestly livid honestly livid but i need to just like put it behind me now because i have said my piece on it and to the people not to you i could give you my rant on it i won't but yeah so i just want to like enjoy my evening in london ryan and i are gonna have a date night and then do my shoot in the morning and i'm just just gonna have good vibes because i feel like i've been in a really negative cycle lately and i honestly believe when you're in like a negative thinking cycle you just I, I tend to attract bad luck when I'm in a negative thinking cycle. Just more bad things tend to happen. And when I'm in a really positive place, some of the most amazing things in the world will happen to me. And it's actually ridiculous. Anyone remember Ariana Grande Golden Circle? Like that was wild. That was wild. So yeah, I just want to get into a really positive space, really positive mindset. Can you tell my calm, my calm and chill voice is out. <laughs> this is what I do to people when I want to have like a Zen video vibe. I'm like, hello. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. How you doing? So yeah, I just need to kind of just like put these things behind me, get into a really positive space, talk about some stuff that makes me really happy. And I'm hoping it's all gonna be good from here on out. But I just thought I'd update you because I always feel really weird when I have, I don't like to talk about when I'm having a bad time in the vlogs. Like I don't ever wanna show me like crying, super, super angry, super upset, really down. I don't like, for you guys to see that and i'm kind of like coming up the back of that today now which is why i feel comfortable here but i do also struggle to not be honest with you guys and if stuff is just like if shit is hitting the fan i just need to like say it and move on rather than just like pretending that everything is great when everything is not great because my life is great i love my life i'm very very grateful but the world is challenging the world is a challenging place the universe likes to send things to test us and yeah sometimes you have to just like sort your shit out and then be a positive person once you're done sorting your shit out and that is my aim for today and yeah it's gonna be great i really like this body by the way i wanted to show you this to you this is from i think misguided on asos it's really cute i'm just wearing it with shocking my leather leggings i really like this color though it's like a green but it feels like a nude because of the tone that it is and i really like that i am about to get ready for a conference call which i have at five I actually have a call at 4.30 and then a call at 5. And then I'll get ready with you. So I'll be back in a bit. Thank you for your patience. You're now joining the meeting. That Chris as well. Bye. Where did I go the other week and you weren't with me? I stayed somewhere. 
and you weren't with me and someone was like, have you fired Lauren? <laughs> I was like, no, absolutely no, no. not. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I put it in her contract that I'm not allowed to <laughs> yeah. fire Lauren. So, <laughs> just for my attachment future, issues. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we've just had a really long meeting at Gleam, which is like strategy meeting, and yeah, I've literally had nothing to vlog. I really, they had a really cool presentation that had like my face and my name on it at the beginning, and I knew I should have got my camera out. I was going to do it at the end, and then we had to switch rooms, and it just didn't work out. It was very sad. It's nice and productive, and yeah, I love my team. They're great. She's great. She's currently booking me a train ticket because yeah. I'm an unorganised <laughs> human being. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just like not paying attention at all. Yeah. So yeah, that is how today has been going so far. I'm probably going to go home and just sleep this headache off. I also need to just stick my brace in. My teeth are aching, my everything is aching. It's all my life out. I want to get these extensions out, take my makeup off and just like sit in the bath and stare at a wall for like two days. Lauren's <laughs> like, you need help. I mean, we have no. things to do tomorrow. So two days. What do I have to do tomorrow? Uh, top shop. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. That's gonna be fun actually. I'm gonna bring you along with me to that. I've got a top shop personal personal shopping appointment. Oh my god, my lips. Like, I actually need to put some product on my lips. They're so dry yeah, and dry. non-existent. Like, they look really like not there when I don't have product on them. It's really weird. They do, they literally blend. Lip liner is a godsend, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna go home and just chill and try and sleep this headache off. So I will probably see you in the morning. Yeah. Also just wanted to show you my nails because I can't remember if I have yet. This might be my favorite design I've ever had. Really, really cute and I like it with this jewelry as well. I think it's really pretty. Someone said my nails look like they are getting married and that made me really laugh. So pretty, love it. Good morning everybody, today it is Friday, I am feeling a little bit better today. I'm on my way to my Topshop appointment so I thought I'd bring you along with me. I'm going to view some of their, like, their full new denim line and just try on a few new denim pieces and style some stuff up for some work with them so I'm really really excited. I'm going to bring you along with me. They, as always, give me a lovely little voucher to spend so I'm going to bring you shopping with me and I'll show you what I got a little bit later. But yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited for the weekend. We're going out for a girls' dinner tonight. Very, very excited about that. So, yeah, let's do this. This is going to be a good day. And if you just don't get too irate at those drivers, <laughs> I can see you around the corner of my eye. Just going. <sighs> I'm trying to stay silent. <laughs> Still distracted. I know. Sorry. <laughs> Honestly, like five minutes with Lauren and my eyes, like the second Lauren turns up to work in the morning, I'm like tearing up. Yeah, but I think we have a bit of an issue because like water just seems to fall from our eyes. And I don't know if that's particularly normal. I think it is. I think you just make me cry, love, a lot. That's a good thing. Yeah. Anyway, try not to cry, laugh, or cry in general before my appointment today because I would like my makeup to stay on my face for more than an hour. So pray for me. Let's do this. So I'm in the Topshop personal shopping suite and I have a very full rail, but the girls have really like pulled the perfect colour palette for me, which I'm really happy about. I've got a lot of new colours of the newly launched denim to try because I already have these, but they've pulled out some more colours, which I'm really excited about because I'm very very interested in the premium mom jeans in the black. So yeah, really excited to get styling all of this stuff. What are my favorites? Let me show you. Really love this top. So pretty and floaty and perfect for spring. I love the color of this blazer. It's gorgeous. They've got some very Bottega inspired bags in here as well. This shirt is really, really cute. I think that'll work really well with white jeans. I've got some options for layering here. You guys will recognize the shirt. I have this at home. That's gonna be so cute, potentially over like a shirt or jumper. Just a bit more color, which <laughs> I know, shocking. Some puff sleeves. There's a lot of puff sleeves. I'm really enjoying those. This gorgeous jumper. I really love this color. I'm loving this kind of like gray green leather nude shirt jacket. Some gorgeous really simple basics they feel really really lovely quality this this is so similar to the pretty little thing jumper that i have so i really wanted to show you guys this one because i feel like you'll love this and if you didn't get a chance to get my pretty little thing one there is this one and it's a really great option and then we also have this jumpsuit which i love i tucked this whilst i was walking around the store so i didn't drag it on the floor how gorgeous is that it's like the most beautiful nude and it's kind of like that tight corset fit around the boobs 
I'm so excited to try this on. So yeah, those are my options. I thought I'd show you my outfit for today as well. Really, really casual. Couldn't be bothered today. Um, I've got my white Zara coat on, my Chanel bag, Topshop Premium Mom jeans, Topshop boots. And then I also have this Topshop tank on underneath. So it's just a really simple white tank. I love it. It goes really, really nicely with the blue jeans. How cute is this outfit? I am a lover of blue. I know I say I don't like colour. This is cute. Blue I can deal with because <laughs> I love my denim. But ugh, look at this bag. I'm going to have to take this bag home. I really love it. It's beautiful. It's like Bottega inspired but like not too inspired. Like it's just, yeah, gorgeous, pouchy, baby blue, which I originally said. I probably wouldn't go near this season, but I'm changing my mind. I reserve the right to change my mind at any given point. This is cute. Never thought I'd see the day when I'd be so comfortable in a pair of flares. And the Racerbacks now come in black. I'm so happy because <laughs> I ruin anything that is not black. So this is coming home with me for sure. Guys, how cute is this jumper? It's got like a V back as well, which you can cut that little stringy bit it's for hanging. But yeah, how cute is this? It's like a proper V shape, so it's meant to be like quite wide and it's like on the back and I just think that that is so cute. I think especially with this colour jean as well. It's gorgeous. I love it. What is wrong with me? This is what spring does to me. Stepped away from the denim slightly, but I love this look. How cute. This stuff is crazy. <laughs> what is that? There's like some serious shouldering going on here. Wow. So I've been wearing these with a lot of my outfits and I have to say they're a very, very, very good dupe for my YSL nude shoes. They're like the exact same nude color, same patent, just only difference is the texture. They've got more of a croc effect, but these have been great today. I'm all done, bought some things. Lauren's buying some shoes. I also <laughs> bought a pair of boots and uh, I got Katie to scan me out of them and I'm just wearing them straight away because I really love them. I've been wanting these for ages and I keep bumming and ahhing about them because they're quite like a simple piece but I just love them so much and I got on so well with them. Excited to show you what I got when I get home. So much good stuff in at the moment. Also keep an eye out on my Instagram because I will be posting lots of looks from the things I styled up today. Day. I actually didn't end up vlogging too much more on Friday because I forgot that I had an appointment with my mortgage advisor. Luckily he was running late. He called me to say I'm running late and I was like, yeah, me too. So yeah, I had an appointment with him and then I had to go out for dinner. So basically minimal vlogging happened on Friday. What did I do yesterday? I went to the gym. I am now very, very achy. My legs, they hurt a lot and what else did i do food shop popped in to see ryan's mum and then we literally just watched films on the sofa all evening and it was really really nice i didn't look at my phone at all and it was just actually really nice because i haven't been doing that a lot lately like i've been glued to my phone and it was just nice to kind of switch off so yeah that's been the past couple of days i thought i would show you because i didn't get a chance i thought i'd show you what i got from top shop i've tucked myself away in my bedroom i don't normally do this normally i vlog in the living room but ryan's playing playstation and i actually because i'm a bit achy I thought it would just be nice if I like sat on my bed and just kind of chill. Considering I'm still in my pajamas, I've got a full face of makeup on, but I'm still in my pajamas because I'm meant to be going out for lunch with the girls. I don't really know what we're doing, where we're going, so I haven't actually got dressed yet. Let's go through my top shop bits. I might wear some of this today actually because I love wearing my new bits. I always find sometimes I get things and I don't wear them for like a really long time and it makes me really sad. Like I love when you've got something new and you like wear it straight away. Like the boots that I liked from Topshop, the pointed ones that were quite high. I literally wore them out the shop. I like them that much. I got the black mom jeans. If I have pictures, 
I will show you. I don't think I'm going to get the chance to do a whole try on today. I got the very poofy sleeve top. I just loved it. I really like the gingham and it's like very, very small gingham. And I find that that's kind of like a more modern way to wear gingham that doesn't make you feel like you're still at school and you're five years old. Because in the UK, I don't know if you know if you're not from this country. I don't think any other countries do it that I've seen. I could be completely wrong. In the UK, as like school uniform in the summer, girls wear gingham dresses. So it just always really reminds me of being like a small child. I picked up the blue bag love that I think it's gonna be so good for like any kind of like spring more formal occasions just any occasions in general to be honest it's a really good everyday bag as well as like an occasion bag because it's got a long chain as well it's got quite a lot of pockets and bits like that so yeah just a really nice everyday easy bag i picked up the blue shirt which you will have seen very very early on yesterday i did get a gift voucher i think i said yesterday but yesterday friday i got a gift voucher but i actually spent my own money as well because the gift voucher uh only goes so far and i wanted all the things so i got this leather kind of shirt jacket which i really love so it's got a collar the buttons are pop up which i love and then it's quite quite long but not too long it's just beautiful and i got a belt that works really really beautifully with it as well it's got buttons on the cuff i got this in a size 10 i believe i think everything i got from topshop yeah was in a 10 this was 45 pounds not too shabby but yeah if there is anything that is um an anomaly in terms of size i'll let you guys know but i'm pretty sure we pulled everything in a 10 is there anything else okay yeah here's the belt i love this this is gorgeous it's got a chain on the end it's very like chanel vibes it's just really simple especially for like top shop it's just a very simple piece which i was not expecting from them but i love it it goes really really nicely with the leather shirt and then also got just a really simple like v-neck t-shirt i'm sure that's not too exciting for you guys because it's just uh, literally just a v-neck so yeah just a really simple v-neck size 10 i believe yeah 15 pounds it feels amazing like i just love the way it feels so so soft so i'm hoping it lasts me and it doesn't go bobbly too quickly because it feels like that soft material that could we shall see we shall see so that's that bag done and then we have in this bag there's just some simpler pieces so we have the racer vest in black which literally had just come in to the store as i was in there so i have this in a 10 just really really simple you guys will have seen i have this in white and gray and they're honestly just some of the best basic pieces and my only gripe is that the gray and the white obviously get stained more easily and i was like why do they not stock this in a black now they do yes so happy i then have the v-neck in white white v-neck really nice simple just a lovely basic piece and then this white top this is a medium so just for reference this could be a lot tighter but i kind of wanted it to have not a loose fit but just like room for my boobs basically because tops like this really stretch out over my boobs and when it's a rib the ribs like stretch out and i thought that would be a bit weird so yeah but a really nice easy basic piece there were so many more pieces that i wanted but obviously budget not permitting so i just went with a few statement pieces that i loved and then some great basics i really like these trousers as well these are like leather leggings they're almost like the in-between of my leather skinny trousers and then my leather leggings so i've got like a nice in between i like the seam it makes them look a lot more structured but they're still really 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 comfy and these actually have more room around the stomach which my zara leggings don't so this is probably better for when i'm going out for dinner because the other one has a really thick tight band which is amazing but when you're going out for like italian food it's not the one so yeah got these in a 10 i could have gone for an 8 if i wanted a tighter fit like if i wanted them to fit like my zara leather skinny trousers but i thought you know what i'll get these slightly looser because i liked this fit and then it just makes them slightly different from the zara ones and they're just really really nice and easy and comfy to wear and that was it i have so much sorting out to do you guys that it's not even funny this is what happens when i come back off trips my suitcase just kind of explodes and then i have to pack for the next trip and yeah it's all going crazy uh so yeah need to find homes for all of this and all of that let's do that now because this needs hanging ASAP. Hello. <laughs>
me to hang everything but I really don't want to disturb my Zara rail because it just looks so lovely and neutral. I still need to film the cutaways for that. I think you'll be seeing this haul on Thursday so make sure you check it. Hello everybody, so it is Monday. This vlog is just about to go live. Well, I'm editing it. We're editing it right now. Hey. Uh, and I realized that I haven't really finished the vlog properly so I thought I would come on here and say goodbye now I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing a little bit of my shopping in Topshop not so much shopping in this village sadly none of the things I'm actually I'm happy about that my bank balance is happy about that um, but yeah I hope you enjoyed seeing this vlog and uh, just to let you know the parking ticket issue is being resolved thank goodness uh, and yeah, things are, it's, it's a better week. It's a better week already. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna end this here and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.